Hello chivalry enjoyers, welcome to my new video. This time we're talking about catapult. I didn't want to make this guide at first, but as I met more and more players that were using this siege weapon incorrectly, I decided that I need to make this guide. I'm going to talk about bugs, self-launch, best catapult opportunities and I'm going to talk about basic things that I've noticed that players still don't know. Let's start with some basic catapult operation. If you will press R once, you will automatically charge the catapult to 50%. When this is done, you can load the rock. You can load it from behind the catapult, it doesn't work from side. After that, you can charge further to your desired range. You don't have to charge to 100%, as many players think. Once you charge to the maximum, you can't go back. I've seen some players charge the catapult to the maximum, then load the rock. This way you are forced to use this range and you cannot change it. Also, if you're reloading for someone, best way to drop the rock is just sheath your weapon. If you don't drop it, but throw it instead, it can get blocked and you might not be able to use it for loading. It doesn't always happen, but it's good to know. Guessing the range can be difficult sometimes, but it's the most important thing and it's the factor that divides people into bad catapult users and good catapult users. If you wish, you can go and try it out in offline practice with bots. Hit offline practice and go to Fall of Landspire or Siege of Radhelm. There are catapults at the first objective. Also, I thought that talking about my own catapult experience would be a good idea. Not only it will help you with the catapult range, but you will learn best catapult opportunities as well. Let's start with Lionspire. The Mason catapult on the beach is only useful very early. After the ram is halfway pushed, any shot you will take will most likely kill your teammates. As you can see, this guy on catapult rarely kills anyone or just kills teammates. Meanwhile, I'm going to the second catapult, which is far more useful now. On this catapult, you'll usually want to load about 80 to 90%. If you will load 100, you will hit the walls and not kill anyone. You can see me be patient and wait for a group of enemies that came from spawn. You can kill your whole team in this place, so be careful. Then I load about 80% again and get pretty nice shot. This catapult is also available to Agatha before the ram is pushed and masons take over. I tried out the maximum range and then I used it when they moved forward a little bit. As they come closer and closer you need to charge less and less. My next shots always contain some team kills. Sometimes it's fine, but it's always good idea to say sorry in chat. In this clip, you can see me using the shortest possible range. On Radhelm, you can use two catapults at each side of the map. With 100% charge, you can shoot all the way to the wall or on the siege tower on the opposite side. If I would charge 100% here, I would shoot the siege tower, so instead I charge little less and get nice shot. Now I can see one teammate fighting multiple opponents, but I don't want to ruin his one versus many experience, so I wait patiently until he dies. You can see I have catapult charge around 95%, so I shoot bit closer. I would say it is okay to kill 5 enemies and one teammate accidentally, but don't do it on purpose. Also, I'd like to mention one bug that is associated with catapult. Sometimes, when you shoot ram, siege tower or catapult, it doesn't kill anyone. Here you can see me sneak as mason to the catapult and have very nice shot, but it doesn't do anything. You can avoid this by not shooting directly where you want, but little to the side.
In this sketch, you can see approximate ranges of the catapult. On Dark Forest, there are two catapults for Masons and one for Agathians. You can see my sketch, which tells you how much you should charge your catapult if you want to hit these targets. They work both ways. On Mason, you're usually targeting the gate, but you might want to kill enemy catapult user, or you can kill some groups of Agathians if you have good opportunity. If you play Agatha, you can annoy people on catapults and get some free kills on them. It will also help your team defend the objective. After the gate is breached, don't use the catapult. It will end up like this. And this. One thing that will also make you a good catapult user is realizing that it's not good idea to use the catapult anymore. Lot of players use catapult even in completely useless scenario, usually team killing or wasting their own time. The last thing I'm going to talk about is self launch. You can trigger the catapult by simply hitting it. I tried to find out effectiveness and it seems like it's very similar if you walk or use catapult, at least on line spire. Maximum charge on line spire is shorter than maximum charge on Radhelm. But be careful, self launching is not always the best. If you like the video, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be happy for any feedback. See ya!